Take a look at this state division map of United States. If you look carefully, there is only one point in the United States that is divided between four states. Four Corners is a region in the southwest of the United States that consists of the southwest corner of Colorado, the southeast corner of Utah, the northeast corner of Arizona, and the northwest corner of New Mexico. Most of its area belongs to semi-autonomous indigenous nations, including the Navajo Nation in the United States. So why does this strange border exist and what happened in the history of this area? Welcome to another video from Geography Tour channel. The Four Corners region is named after the four points at the intersection of approximately 37 degrees N latitude with 109 degrees O3 W longitude, where the borders of four states meet, and marked by the Four Corners monument, which marks the history of this area and is the only place in the United States where four states meet. The origin of the state boundaries marked by this monument occurred just before and during the American Civil War, when the United States Congress moved to form regional governments to combat the spread of slavery in the region, therefore to understand the main reason for the formation of this region. Its history must be discovered. The region now known as the Four Corners has a rich history intertwined with geopolitical and territorial changes. This land originally inhabited by American Indian tribes, saw its first formal claim when Spain laid out its stake as part of New Spain in the early 16th century. After Mexico's independence from Spanish rule in 1821, the Four Corners region was administered by Mexico, which, however, was short-lived. Because the Mexican-American War of 1846 to 1848 culminated in the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, which transferred the territory to the United States making an important moment in the history of the region. In the following, this region considered itself part of the United States and began to form its own borders. When the process of determining the borders of the Four Corners region began with the Compromise of 1850, the arrangement that gave birth to the territory of New Mexico and the territory of Utah was, however, only the first step in a series of border adjustments that shaped the region's unique geography. In 1861, during the turbulent period leading up to the American Civil War, a faction in the southern part of New Mexico, Territory, expressed their discontent. They argued that the vast territory created by the United States, with a single government centered on Santa Fe, covered the South and lacked a functioning system of law and order, leading to anarchy because a government cannot control such a huge area well. In response to these grievances, this group declared secession from the United States and declared their desire to join the Confederate States of America under the name Arizona Territory, which eventually the U.S. Congress responded in 1863 by creating another Arizona Territory with partially overlapping but distinct boundaries. Confederate borders crossed New Mexico, creating an east-west divide aligned the 34th parallel and connecting Texas to the Colorado River a strategic move that gave the Confederacy access to California and the Pacific coast. And simultaneously, the Union of New Mexico was divided along a north-south line, a 32nd meridian west of Washington, extending the boundary between Colorado and Utah southward. Eventually, this complex and ever-evolving plan of union became a reality, giving rise to the four corners we know today. After these events, New Mexico began to resemble its contemporary form albeit with only minor changes from its present-day configuration. Further placement of the first marker in 1868 marked the beginning of the four-cornered monument at its original and currently surveyed location. However, after these events at the beginning of the 20th century, there were disputes about the accuracy of the placement of the monument, which, after preliminary surveys, found that the borders did not always follow the meridian and parallel lines. Because of the early mapping technology available at the time, this dispute caused the four states to question whether the correct boundaries were the exact meridian and parallel lines or whether markers placed during early surveys were known the true boundary. So New Mexico sued Colorado in 1919, and when the Supreme Court ruled in 1925 that the markers placed on the original surveys were the true boundaries, even though the markers were off in some places, including the monument, it can also be four corners. 
that these issues led to a case reaching the United States Supreme Court which in effect took it upon itself to redefine the four corners point in an attempt to diplomatically correct the initial mapping error. This official redefinition moved the four corners point approximately 1,800 feet eastward from its original survey location, which corrected position, properly marked and preserved, stands today. The consequences of this early survey error have endured over time giving rise to ongoing misunderstandings about the exact location of the four-cornered marker, some of which persist in contemporary debates. Interestingly, in 1923, the first Navajo tribal government was established, a governing body formed in response to the increasing number of oil exploration activities taking place on Navajo land. In conclusion, just as the Four Corners Monument precisely represents the historical convergence of Colorado, Utah, Arizona, and New Mexico, it also serves as a symbol of the complex tableau of events and decisions that have shaped this distinct region. That the injuring consequences of early surveyors and the continued presence of indigenous communities such as the Navajo Nation remind us that the history of the Four Corners is not just about boundaries on a map, but a living history that continues to unfold. Thank you very much for being with me until the end of the video and see you in another video.